So now that we have representations, we have ways of looking at it, now we're going to go on to the operations. Uh, the first type of operations we'll talk about are some special ones. These exist primarily for applications of sets. The first one is to pull together a particular question. If I had a set and I asked for, well, what subsets does this set have? And if I collected all possible subsets that would ever exist, that in itself, if I decided to pull that into a collection, would be a set. And so what we have is, if I would collect, I want the set of all subsets of a given set S. And we would call this thing, this is defined as the power set. Notation-wise is it looks like this, P of S. So example, if S was equal to 1, a square, and a happy face. The easiest way to talk about subsets is to go through and break them in terms of subsets are all sets that have these elements. Well, when we have these elements, one of the questions we can have is, let's say, how many ways could you have none of these elements? How many ways could we have one of these elements? How many ways could we have two of these elements? Just to go through them one at a time, the easiest way to do it is to say, so no elements one element, which would be all the subsets that are singletons, two elements, and then we can get up to three elements. All right? what's the subset of S that has nothing in it? It's the empty set, right? The empty set is a subset of everything. Anybody know why? Why is the empty set a subset of any possible set? What does it mean to be a subset? Everything in the left implies it's in the right. So if I wrote, wrote this logically, what would this thing look like logically? What this looks like logically is for all elements, if the element is in the empty set, then that element has to be an S. Does the empty set have any elements? No. So what is E is in, uh, in the empty set? That is what? False. What's false implies anything? True. And so this is logically what? True. The empty set's inside of everything. It's pretty easy if we think about, remember when we talked about the Venn diagram is circling the stuff that you have. So if I had a set, say S, and this was all of its elements, right? Can you always draw a circle that doesn't have anything in it inside of that circle? Of course. You can always do that. That's fine. It's the empty set, right? The empty set's inside of everything. Kind of an interesting feature of a object that's our, our nothing object. It's inside of all things. So I can at least say nothing's inside everything. All right, so that's my first thing. All right, what are all the singletons of this thing? What would be the sets that only have one object in it? It would be the singleton set of one, the singleton set of a square, and then the singleton set of a happy face. Kind of looks interesting. Now, how many ways could I have two? Give me all the twos. One and square, square. Say one and square. Square and square. Square and smiley face, and then one and smiley face. Why not smiley face and one? It's the same thing. Order doesn't matter. And then what are all the ways to have all three? The set itself. Every set is a subset of itself. Is it in S? Yes. Is it in S? Yes. Good. So not only is the empty set in everything, a set is inside of itself as well. Think back to the Venn diagram. Could you write a circle that contained exactly the same? Yeah, just copy the circle. Just draw it right on top of itself. That'd be another circle. 
which would be itself. So what's the power set? Since I've found all the subsets, the power set is simply the set. And what do I do? Put all subsets here. How many subsets have I found? I found eight of them. So all eight of these elements, every element happens to be a what? A set. This is a set of sets. Every set that is inside of it is a subset of the original. So I collect all eight things. So I just put all eight subsets there. I'll call that the power set. OK. So I noticed here that the cardinality for my example The cardinality of S was 3, and the cardinality of the power set was 8. There's 8 subsets for these three things. And one of the questions is, why is this happening? Uh, one of the things that we can look at to help ourselves is consider computer representations of sets. Computer representations of sets goes through that, yes, I understand that a set does not have order. But when I actually have to pay attention to things, do I normally apply order? Like if I said, please keep track of your set of cards, what do we naturally do? We put order on it. Even though it's a set and order doesn't matter, I choose to put order on this so it helps me figure out what I have and what I don't have. So a computer representation of sets does understand that, yes, a set doesn't have order, but when we work with sets, We use order to help track elements. So how do I use that for a computer? Well, we would sit there and say, say set s is equal to, um, say, element 1, element 2, element 3, element 4, all the way up to element k. I would sit there and say, here's all my elements. Order doesn't matter, but for sake of convenience, I allow order. First element, second element, third element. Then what can I do with a computer? A computer, when I represent this particular thing, if this would be my set, I could handle <coughs> subsets of S just using a bit string. S would be represented by 1, 1, 1, 1, dot, 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 1. I would have K ones. But on the other hand, what if I had a different set? If I had set A was made up of E1 and E3, then what would I do? Well, I would say A is equal to, by a computer, is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Is everybody okay with that? No? It would just go through here and it's like, okay, what if how do I represent a set of students? What I would do is I would I would apply their names in order. Then I would say, if this student's in my class, I just put a one in the first position because they're my first student. All right? We would alphabetize the students. And then I would say, are you in your class? Put a one in that position. If they're not in the class, we would put a zero in the position. And so the bit, why is this a one? Because E1 is in A, give it 1. Why is that 0? Because E2 is not in A, give it 0. 
if we just go one zero zero, you know, one zero one zero zero zero, what would be the empty set? Straight zeros. Zero 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 zero, right? Just all zeros. It doesn't have it. So the set itself, all ones. The empty set, all zeros. All other sets, ones and zeros. Let's say let's let's go back to this particular problem here. S would be what? One one one. So what would be the bit string for the empty set? Zero zero zero. zero, zero. What would be the bit strings for these singletons? One zero zero. Zero one zero. Zero zero, one, zero, zero, zero one. What about these two elements? It would be one one zero. Zero one. Zero one one. One zero one. And what's the bit string for the the entire set? One one one. Is everybody okay with that representation? We we apply order for the sake of convenience, and then we do it. Now, this actually allows us to simply count power sets rather easily. So any set, right, is a bunch of zeros or ones. When's it a zero? When it has the element. When is it a one? When it doesn't have an element. So we'll get into counting problems here in a little bit. And so any subset, the cardinality can find it. So any subset is this bunch of zeros and ones. So we could count them. What's the cardinality of the power set? Well, what would we do? Well, really what we do is we would go through this and say, this is either a 0 or a 1. This is either a 0 or a 1. This is either a 0 or a 1. This is either a 0 or a 1, right? these bit strings. Every bit string either has a 0 or a 1, right? I just got to figure out how do I want to do a subset. Well, what would I do? I would pick a 0 or a 1, and then I would pick a 0 or a 1, and then I would pick a 0 or a 1. And counting problems get to this. If you actually do this, and the word that you use is and, you would multiply it. If you would use the word or, you would add it. How many ways can you pick a zero? Well, there's one. How many ways can you pick a one? One. OK, what's one or one? That's one plus one. And so how many ways to have a zero or a one? No big surprise. Two. Pick the zero, or you pick a one. And you go on to the next guy. Two choices. And go on to the next guy. How many, how many things are here? Well, how many? What's the cardinality of s, right? So what would we have? This is really just simply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And we would have, well, what is the cardinality of s here? So what is it? 2 to the cardinality of s. So all possible power sets are always going to be 2 to the s. Did that work for our last problem? What's the cardinality of s? 3. What's the number of power sets? 2 to the third, which is 8. So that would be the total number of subsets. What if I had 16 elements? What would be the size of the power set? It would be 2 to the 16th, right? We all should be able to multiply by 2 to get right? No, probably not. Everybody know the difference between kilo, mega, giga in terms of like computers? We know when we say kilo, we assume it's a thousand, right? But it's not actually a thousand. It's the power of two closest to a thousand, right? So it's actually so we would do two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, two fifty-six, five twelve, ten twenty-four. So two to the tenth. So for computers, ten bits is a kilo. Is it a thousand? No, it's close. It ends up being a mega is two to the twentieth. Gig is two to the 30th. It's kind of interesting that those powers of 10 end up being the guys who are closest to million, billion, and trillion, and then peta. Why do we use two? Because computers are stupid. They're just a zero or one, right? Just a bunch of zeros and ones. All right, so we can count these things and generate them. The easiest way to make them is go down through this. You have to find a creative way of doing it, though. It's not that hard, but you'd have to get a pattern going on. Especially if you had 16 and you want to write every single one of those. <clears throat>